Gemini, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> My name is Christine. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Gemini Tarot reading. Gemini, love tarot reading. Gemini, love reading. And as is very often the case, here at the Tarot Closet, Pretty much always, Gemini love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self, their feelings for you, your feelings for them, who's making what move in the connection, if any, and yeah, what's going on in the connection. Let's take a look at the energy coming in. Wow, clarity in the lover's card. Gemini, this is you here, of course. And Venus energy, the planet of love. Archangel Raphael, who wants to heal what is broken. So they're clear. <laughs> You're both clear that you love each other. And that there's something here going on. In fact, look at the tree. It says, me, there's an infinity sign. Soulmate energy. For some of you, Twin Flame Energy. I know that's not for everyone. Infinity is also just a particular kind of love, you know, a forever kind of love. It's also truth, balance, and renewal. And it looks like there might be a decision coming up here because somebody is clear who they love. That's you. And I feel like somebody is clear what they want, which is you, because this is restoring some harmony. It's coming together. Perhaps... An offer here. Yeah, let's see, because the clarity of how they feel about you and how you feel about each other is strong. Obviously, you love each other. Gemini, I like this start to your reading. I'm channeling for you in April 2024. You could be here in real time. You could also be here many months, even years later. And that's because this is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. It means there's messages here for you. This is a timeless reading. If you want to find your all your readings, of course, Gemini, your zodiac readings are down below in the <laughs> I'm having a brain fart here. It's like I don't know, kind of in my, yeah, like scrambly in my head. Interesting. Down in the description, you'll also find them on the channel. All 12 zodiac signs. You'll also find all signs tarot readings. Those are collective love readings, love readings for the collective. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long in-depth twin flame readings below. So feel free to explore. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the energy coming in. Well, there's that energy I was feeling. It's the Knight of Swords, and look, the lovers is back. Oh my gosh. It's like they can't get to you fast enough to tell you that they love you. And Knight of Swords is coming in a balanced energy. It's Libra and Mercury energy. Of course, on their mind, also communication. And it's they have a lot to say. They're kind of wanting to change everything here. I don't know. Oh, Gemini. Uh, is there something going on in your life, moving on, something you've put out there? Because this is somebody who like, really wants to come and tell you. This is, a, this is somebody who wants, I feel like, to profess their love, but also something else coming in here with that. Look at that butterfly here, going and connecting with the apple, the abundance. That's the transformational energy. It's dark to light. It's new beginnings. So there's definitely a revealing of feelings here. Maybe you knew it. Maybe you knew they, maybe you know they love you, they still love you, maybe you didn't, that's being revealed. But there's something else here. There's a little star here. Look on, do you see that? On our Knight of Swords, sword here. That's transactional energy, that's clarity in your relationship. And we saw clarity coming in. It's clarity in how they feel, it's the truth. They're coming here to tell you they love you. Oh my gosh, and there's something else coming on, going on here too. Archangel Raphael is clearly making some, giving some major nudges here <laughs> around your person. 
This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so very much, Gemini. Let's see what's happening here. Past, current, upcoming energy. We saw what's coming in. So where have things been? What's happening? Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you please show us what else Gemini needs to see today? Aho. Wow. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Coming in. That's pretty clear. In fact, they're holding on to crystals. <laughs> the clarity here, at the, at the risk of, of a pun, <laughs> pun intended, is strong. The clarity card coming in with the lover's card. The lover card, lover's card coming back. And yeah, now we have the Ace of Pentacles holding on to their clarity. That's a lot in there. It's a manifesting energy. It's crystal clarity healing energy and there's three down here divine number divine timing communication it's the ace of pentacles it's next level somebody's coming in here to that knight of swords that came in when the lovers again came back wants to share how they feel wants wants to tell you that they this is what they want you are who they want did you move on is there something going on because here this next level energy capricorn virgo taurus energy is you know also the four of cups and this is the moon and cancer energy and it's like an element of surprise of your person coming look there's the fourth cup there's a rose there it's an offer it's an urgent energy here and there is an apathy coming through here with you of just you know i don't i'm, I'm kind of indifferent i'm not sure i've been waiting for this communication you to gemini to your person gemini's person i should say because they're coming in here with that. Here in our Four of Cups is the Moon. Excuse me. Here in our Four of Cups is the Three of Cups. And that's Mercury and Cancer energy. And that's communication. If it's possible to see your person in person in the 3D, then this is kind of where they're coming to communicate with you. And maybe even pulling you kind of, I feel like, away from somebody or people to talk to you. And, you know, and you're just, I don't know, <laughs> like eye rolling wanting this but kind of making them work for it interesting but if it's not possible to see each other this is still the communication i mean it's mercury and cancer energy it's obviously on their mind you and that's communication mercury really strongly connected to reading and writing so sms social media email but again can you see each other then you probably are or maybe you already have it's also just about how you communicate. So if not, it's still the communication here. And they very clearly have what they want to say to you, the love for you on their mind, and an offer. And there is a decision here. This is pretty darn clear. I feel like these are yours, but there's just too many. So if they're meant to be, if they're meant to be, they come back, you know. <laughs> that just turned over right in my hand. Judgment, the Two of Swords, Justice. Wow, so here's the thing. The truth in how they feel. The Eight of Cups came in in reverse, the Ten of Swords. The World card is here right underneath the Two of Swords. Yeah, this decision, there's a <laughs> life-changing energy with them moving forward, but also a decision the decision that you're going to make is what I want to say coming together. But they're coming in here with something big. Where do I even begin? Well, the truth of how they feel, we saw that coming in. And we're going to be bringing in a lot more. It's been really clear. The lover's card coming in with the clarity card. And coming in again with our knight of swords who has a whole lot to say. Who has a lot of truth here of what if their, their true feelings their true intentions, what they're coming here with, justice, Libra energy, and Venus, of course, again, the planet of love. This truth is going to change everything, and it's life-changing here in our world card, the universe. This is the completion energy. And I want to tell you, 
it is connected to really big life decisions like marriage or moving in or connecting families or growing a family or just starting a new life together. Were you building a life together? Were you in it? Was it on the table? It's really on the table here. And it's quite big. Look, there are three stars here. And of course, this comes to a three, and that's divine number, divine timing. And this is the completion energy. So again, it's life-changing. There is a soulmate energy here. It is how they're seeing this. It is coming together. They definitely are coming here with the truth of how they feel. There is the balanced energy. Is there a truth around something else here too? But it's going to change everything. And this is the completion energy. It's really strong. The end of no contact, no communication, a new cycle, and or in separation. It depends on, you know, who is where. And is there still some things that need to be worked out before there's an ultimate decision? You know, is it like the conversation and putting a pin in it? But reaching these goals. This can be that somebody is traveling, also literal travel, you know. But it's the, the coming together here. It's having learned some lessons. It's karmic debts paid. Like lessons learned, obstacles out of the way. Let's move forward. Future energy. This is what I want. You are what I want. You are who I love. That is just so strong. And I feel really goosebumpy as I bring this into you. Yes, this is somebody who, who put, by the way, their energy is everywhere, but it's really strong here. And who put, I want to say, things where they are, the Ten of Swords, via this Two of Swords energy, Moon and Libra energy. So it's lack of clarity, lack of communication, because the clarity that's coming in now is, my gosh, it just sounds so funny <laughs> to say, to be clear, is really clear, <laughs> pun intended. But it's been ongoing here, the clarity that they have now. I don't know if they're too late or what, because I do feel like they kind of have to win you back or come, you know, that you're, there's a little bit of eye rolling here that's going on, you know, as they come in. But the lack of clarity of how they feel, because, I mean, look what's also underneath this, which is an iceberg. You know, it's the, I mean, it's the two of swords. That's clarity, <laughs> the relationship. It's communication. It's truth. And we know that there hasn't been truth about how they feel and there hasn't been communication. So here is that, you know, it's connecting with the heart chakra for me, but that's not the energy of the, well, actually it is because this is the two of swords. It's moon and Libra. And Libra is, of course connected to Venus, connected to Venus, the planet of love. Well, and Venus and Taurus, both connecting with the Empress and the heart chakra. It's the heart chakra energy is what I want to say. And look at the sword here that's kind of in. It's out, the clarity, but it's also here in the water. It's hidden. Emotions, how they felt, have been hidden. Decisions here, not making a decision not compromising. Like, I don't know if it's just fear around sharing how they feel, if there's what's going on with the commitment energy, but this is what I feel like puts you in the Ten of Swords. Sun and Gemini energy. You know, it's the sun coming up here. And when the sun is in reverse, that's a temporary energy. It's, you know, waiting. It's like a waiting energy, delayed gratification. It's coming up here, connecting us with Leo and Source. And that's working things out. Of course, the crown chakra energy for a happy outcome, getting out of these swords, ending the no contact, no communication and or in separation. It's also connected to judgment, which is a strong energy of that. <laughs> Mark Angel Gabriel, get some clarity, make a decision, literally wake up. What do you want? Because this is where it's been. Look at this. It's kind of like what put them here, what put you here. This is the wake up energy to get out of there. It's your person coming back here. So there is an apology. They are wanting to make an apology. They're also coming here with the truth of how they feel. They're coming here very clear themselves and coming here and bringing that. Because this is the balanced energy here in judgment. Of course, that's a 20 and it's coming to a two. It's the two of you and it's the decision that they've been farting around, as my mom says, <laughs> wasting time not making. That puts you here in this Ten of Swords. I don't know how long this has been going on, but, you know, Archangel Gabriel, work it out because this is the lack of that. You know, it's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. 
the sun in Virgo energy, putting that sun in reverse. Again, the temporary energy, you know, of waiting. This is like the somebody who wasn't giving it the time, the attention, who there there are connections obviously to the commitment. What whether there's other people or not, again, it's not super clear for me. What's coming through that's clear. <laughs> it's your word of the day. Is that they love you and how they feel about you and they want to be with you. Whether I'm privy to more information or not is as remains to be seen. But obviously I feel like you are you are already know. <laughs> okay. So this is everything that is just falling out oh my gosh it's such a strong validation needing to work this out look at this so and here also strength sun leo energy source the sun you know it's a reversal energy so yeah get out of your ego make this decision connecting here with the two of swords judgment is literally you know it's Archangel Gabriel, the angel for messages, the herald of vision saying, get a move on. Obviously connecting us to the crown chakra. You know, they know what they want. They've, they're making this decision here. It's like, you already know. So why are you, why are you wasting this time? So the seven of pentacles is here. The eight of wands in reverse, the ace of swords in reverse, the queen of cups in reverse, the nine of cups and the two of wands. It's so clear what you've been waiting for, Two of Wands energy. This is Mars and Aries energy. It's the completion energy. It's connecting strongly, of course, with our world card. This is the minor arcana energy. If you're kind of waiting for them to figure it out, look at their, get it balanced, make a decision here. Communicate. Also, the, the interesting thing is, is that little crystal ball is also connecting with that world energy because this is Mars energy. It's completion it's the planet of action and passion you could say completion energy getting out of no contact no communication and or in separation and making this move here like a much bigger move but it's the weight it's the minor arcana energy and it could be even again waiting for somebody to tr to come to you physically if there's travel here but this is like my little protege for the world card in some ways because this is what you've been waiting for for them to make a decision here and be honest about how they feel and what they want and come here with with this offer which has really been incredibly clear the nine of cups coming here as well actually this is going here wish fulfillment yeah wish fulfillment jupiter and pisces energy jupiter the planet of expansion prosperity around luck i always think of that as around timing as well it's one cup shy of the Ten of Cups. So were you in, had you built a life together? Were you building it? Was it on the table? It is on the table. This is what you want. And you also want to talk to them. And maybe for some of you, see them. You wanted them to get it together. You want to get out of here. But there is still some hurt energy here. Probably why there is a indifference, kind of an eye rolling as they want to come here and communicate how much they love you and what they want. This has just been really clear. Have they been an ego and shadow? Yes, they have. That is also really clear. This is kind of like there's fear around the strength card in reverse. The strength card, of course, is connected to the sun. And it's also connected to the heart chakra. So there's been some fear around how much they love you. I feel like just all that they're just so overwhelmed with feelings, but also just around next level. What, what does that mean for you? Is it just talking? Is it building a life together, a family for some of you? Is this moving in? Is this marriage? Is it bringing in life? Is it combining families? Is it going all the way to some kind of beginning of introducing families? Whatever it is, it's somebody who knows what they want, who's just been farting around, really wasting time because it's like self-sabotage if you don't get out of there, you know? And again, I don't know how long that's been going on. It's kind of like hermit in reverse energy for me. Mercury and Virgo, just taking forever, being afraid. And judgment is here, getting them out of that. So yeah, the Queen of Cups, I'm not surprised that it's in reverse, Cancer energy, because this is, we need to get this in the upright here. You know, it's like things haven't been worked out. It's here with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, that's what that is. It's like things, 
you could say still being kind of in disrepair. Things not worked out yet. Healing really necessary. So this truth is really has to happen. They need to tell you how they feel, obviously, in order for this to go here, to get this back here, because this is an energy of kind of lack of emotional availability, holding back and holding back the truth of how they feel as well. You know, this unhealed energy. And it's connecting with this Ace of Swords in reverse, which is the lack of clarity. It's their mental blocks. It's not being honest about how they feel. Whether it was just by omission, by not telling you, or they outright lied about it. Look at this. Coming right here. It could be that there's other things here. Again, that they there was something here that they also need to own up to. Some kind of dishonesty. I mean, it is around their feelings, but it could be something else as well. I mean, we could even be talking about legal issues or karmic situations, okay? You're going to, obviously, I feel like you, you know, <laughs> you're privy to that information. But yeah, I mean, that's the, the, that's the lack of clarity and truth. And then here it is, both in justice and judgment. So being held accountable, being totally honest and being clear. And we know it's about what they want, how they feel, and whatever else needed to come in here. And this is also what, literally what you're waiting for. And what we see coming in and why probably there's a little bit of an eye roll. Because it's the Eight of Wands in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles in the upright. Mercury and Sagittarius energy. This is communication. You know, Mercury, again, whether it's SMS, social media, email, because it is connected to reading and writing. Probably not handwritten, but maybe that's the case for some of you. And maybe you normally talk on the phone or see each other. Whatever the case is, you've been waiting for that because you're here in the Seven of Pentacles. Venus and Taurus energy of waiting, having put in a lot of time, a lot of effort. You've been patient, waiting for some really big next level. You've been waiting. You want them to be really clear about how they feel about you and what they want and that that's what they want too. Like really clear that this is what I really want. Well, the lover's card came in. Uh, lots of, with the clarity card, and they are clear now that they love you and that they want to be with you. Then it came back with the Knight of Swords who wants to make sure they tell it to you because they haven't been. That's the delay in that, and that's you here in the Seven of Pentacles, sick of waiting. <laughs> One foot out the door. You know, maybe two feet out the door. It's kind of more like one foot out the door. Look, and it's going here. It's connecting. It's connecting here with the two of swords. Make this decision. I am. I hear Archangel Gabriel. I'm doing it. Wish fulfillment. I'm working on it. It's the disrepair again in this eight of pentacles in reverse. We don't have an overall energy yet. And I sat here and I, I thought about it. And I thought, do I need to bring in more tarot? And my answer was no. So we're going to go into Oracle, see if something's wanting to come here. Sometimes it never comes, the overall energy. Sometimes it's it's an Oracle card or it's a love message. I'm already shuffled, but I want to move the energy, Gemini. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse unless I'm forced. <laughs> My spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, and I sometimes get into it. So you'll know if it's meant to be in reverse. We'll know. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What else does Gemini need to see? Aho. My eyes are so itchy. That is just the strong energy of judgment here. Look, it's connecting with intuition and trust yourself. My gosh. Yeah, <laughs> wake up call. These three are yours. Wait, I need to get these because they're coming in kind of fast. Storm energy. So it's kind of like after the storm energy, even in the strength card, the light coming in. It's, my eyes are so itchy. It is like five of wands and in reverse and six of wands and upright energy saturn and leo and jupiter leo it's like after the victory after the storm energy like finally hearing from them and this is strong energy of the high priestess 
bringing in cancer energy, divine feminine energy, but they're revealing energy, which is just so clear here. Intuitively drawn, revealing how they feel about you, connecting here with trust yourself, trust your gut instincts. These are your guardian angels. Archangel Raphael has already been here twice. We have Archangel Gabriel here listening literally here to Archangel Gabriel. The wake-up energy is so strong. And also, you know, the, the hopeful energy here in our in, intuitive energy. What does this say? A retort? What is this? Hold on. I need to look at what this... I know. This is my magnifying glass. The future of good health is what that says. And then there's perspective, reflection, aligning... Oh yeah, this is everything. There's so many little words here too, but this is also, I wanted to say, connecting with the unblocking of, of the chakras, really. I am, I do. I love, I speak, I see, I know. It's strong. I don't really know how else to say this. It's really goosebumpy. In fact, I feel like this is where it's going. Listening to Archangel Gabri Gabriel, big time here. And Archangel Raphael, by the way, of course. Making it happen. Community. So, this can be for some of you that there are other people involved. It's pretty clear. It could even be that you live near each other. There's family and friends. But this is also about coming together. And there's a big old, big old honking tree here with kind of seeing the years. It's long-term energy. It's long-term energy. It's commitment energy. So coming here with solitude, abundance, so that's the hermit energy. Abundance, the high priestess energy, surrender, messenger. <laughs> Could be for some of you that communication is quite literally via social media, even Messenger, <laughs> WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. It doesn't mean that, but it is here. It's a validation. It is communicating, I'll tell you that much. Stars aligning, wishes coming true, Nine of Cups here. For some of you, long distance energy. Again, social media, SMS, email, or if it's possible to come together in person, this is the communication. The surrender, get out of your ego, stop being afraid, be clear about what you want, Archangel Gabriel, get it together, get some clarity, make a decision, what do you want? Archangel Raphael made it real clear, coming in with the lover's card, Gemini, twice, your energy of what they want. They love and want to be with you. This is the life with you energy. And I don't know if the Seven of Pentacles is spinning or what, if maybe you have both feet out the door because there is a little bit of freaking out energy here. This Knight of Swords, I feel like is literally going flying here during the storm, not even quite ready because they've been holding back for so long, it feels like, that they just need to heed the call now and get, get their little hiney moving here. Because they have been, you know, there's still like a little bit of lack of clarity, but we also see that the massive clarity is here. So it's kind of, yeah, again, it's like that five of six of wands energy of just, and the knight of swords of just coming here no matter what and communicating because it's been very delayed. They've been taking forever. The empress is here. Abundance. Also creativity, surrender, and solitude. So this is like, the hermit energy for me, Virgo and Mercury energy. And it's not surprising because it's the, look, I mean, it's separation, okay? And also they're reflecting that or your person, the person that's coming through here today has been doing, you know, because it's not healed. There's still a strong, I mean, it really, they need to come in here emotionally, open, available, be honest, speak the truth about how they feel and their intentions. And get out of this energy, you know, get this eight of pentacles moving because it's like saying that it's not worked out. When you get out of the hermit energy, you go into, Hello. and that's the camera <laughs> doing what it does. Drives me crazy, but I don't think we missed anything. Because in this strength card energy, you get out of this energy and then you go into the hermit energy and you figure it out. You get your clarity and you get out and you spin that wheel of fortune and things start turning around. And that's when they get that message to you, the information. That's when 
You come together, fate and destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. They just need to get out of here. And Archangel Gabriel, Raphael, they're all here saying, move, move. The, <laughs> the world card. So yeah, it's a validation that this is what they're heading for here in this hermit energy and the wheel of fortune. And it's a validation anyway. An abundance here connecting directly with our Empress. And before we get into this energy, the creativity is here. And it's like figuring it out, how to solve, how to get here, how to, to solve these issues, which is what we know has very much been on their mind. Getting out of their head and whatever commitment issues, whatever that's around, to tell you how they really feel and what they really want here. It's like solving the problems. Look, there's the brain, which we also saw, which we're also seeing here. Look, it's like getting out of that and coming in here. But a strong intuitive energy. This hand is pointing to some math problems, like solutions, working things out. It's the five of wands in reverse and then the six of wands and just moving forward, getting out of their head, getting through this labyrinth here. So that is definitely the energy there. And then we have our Empress, divine feminine energy. Also clarifying for me <laughs> more of that word today, that they are coming in here in a really different energy, a really different vibe, emotionally open, wanting to communicate, wanting to be honest, and definitely wanting to, to have more. It's really strong. The Empress, Taurus energy, also bringing in Libra. Venus, the planet of love, divine number, divine timing, communication, growth, look, abundance, can create and grow anything. New beginnings. And the Empress energy was actually already coming in. And of course, the lovers has, has been here twice and we have strength here. It's all connected to the heart chakra. Can create and grow anything, new beginnings, fertility. And again, for those of you that's directly connected to maybe some family or ch children energy that is here. I know it's not for everybody, but it is here. But I'm really liking this abundance coming here with it, telling me how things are moving. And the surrender, by the way, your person getting out of this indecision, this fear. And also the surrendering of their feelings has just been really clear because it has been somebody who's been in some ego and shadow, having some commitment issues, being overwhelmed, I feel like, about how they feel about you. And what else? This musical notes here are my indication of making peace, restoring harmony, you know? But it could be that, yeah, there's some musicians here too, and there's definitely the, the energy of music here. I just realized too how our Empress connects with our Ace of Pentacles. It's pretty strong energy, and that is next level energy. That's like putting time in, that's things growing, moving for you. I'm really liking this for you a lot, Gemini. Let's bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. can already see they're sending in some longing energy. <laughs> I want to kiss you. I'm going to show you what's at the bottom of the deck here. Please forgive me. Seven of Cups, please forgive me. Look, it's connected to the commitment issues possibly some other choices that were here. And why, look, some fear around their feelings, around commitment. My gosh, that's just so clear. I'm going to put that there. The bottom of the deck, you are my other half. So connecting again with our lovers twice. Soulmate energy is really validated. If you're on a twin flame journey, it's here. I know it's not for everybody. But also a strong validation of what they're planning. And that there is a... a Really big decision, life-changing energy here. I made so many mistakes. Eight of Pentacles, Solitude. Queen of Cups in reverse, you know. The hurt energy, the lack of healing. I am always with you. The world. It's really hard living without you. You are never far from my mind. I'm always with you. It's connecting with you in the Seven of Pentacles. You deserve so much more. 
that some of this here, strength and reverse energy. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting because that hermit in reverse energy was coming through strong and it, it came here. Didn't it come here in solitude? Yeah, in the upright energy, but there is some of that energy here of just being afraid to mess it up. Just being afraid. I don't know. Heart, maybe something having happened in the past around relationships or maybe even with the two of you, but the heart chakra blockages, you know. Please never give up on us. Nine of Cups coming together, community. I am waiting for the right time. Empress Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry I ran. Bringing in the Eight of Cups. I'm sorry I ran. I'm surrendering to how I feel. This is strong. The Tarot Closet. More channeled love messages. Messages from their higher self, Gemini. Love notes. That's a lot. Okay, they have a lot to say. Do you still love me? Do you still love me? I reread our messages. No one compares to you. Everything reminds me of you. You are never far from my mind. I am always with you. You are my person. It's going here with this revealing energy, this knowing energy, the intuition. Being coming together, just knowing it, you know. I play songs that remind me of you, okay? I thought there might be some music energy here. We were meant to meet. That's bringing in our... Wheel of Fortune energy, that's also been coming through. Fate and Destiny, how did you meet? I feel like it was something, yeah, maybe a little different or something, I don't know, maybe that I'm not even privy to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ran and I'm sorry right here with the Ten of Swords. I think of you all the time. Please forgive me. We are soulmates. Going here with you are my other half. Connecting with our lovers. Do you think of me too? You are never far from my mind. Everything reminds me of you. Do you think of me too? I want to be honest. Yeah, it's been a really strong energy here, of course. In fact, really strong. The lover's card. Twice, our clarity energy. Yes, and also coming here with our Empress. And connecting here with the wish fulfillment and messenger, the communication. Look, sorry I ran, came here again. They're kind of facing each other. Sorry, to the moon and back. It's like, and I love you to the moon and back energy. I'm hiding my true feelings. That is what they've been doing. You are my other half. I love you to the moon and back. That's what they've been doing. It's been clear from the beginning that that's what they're kind of rushing in here with. Give me time. You are my other half. Are you answering? Telepathic energy. You are my other half. You are my other half. Your last channel love message, message from their higher self. We are a faded connection. We were meant to meet. Please never give up on us. Again, connecting us to the Wheel of Fortune energy. Beautiful Gemini, that's your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I sure appreciate it. I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and I don't know why I'm straightening things at the end of the reading and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so much for that. I'm sending you love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then, bye Gemini.